Hi, we're going to be working on using patterns to solve equations, and these are going to be addition equations, um, and we're going to just look for things that they have in common, or things that are going to make our lives a little bit easier when solving some math equations. Um, in the last video, um, we made this chart about tens, um, and we looked a little bit at the patterns of the increasing numbers on one side. If you want to look back at that, that was our um, how to solve making with making a 10. Um, on this one, we are going to be looking at the patterns to solve. So for example, if I was looking at different ways to make the sum of 5, I would start with saying 0 plus 5, 1 plus 4, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2. Now remember, we can show these in two different ways just like that, okay? Um, even though they're the same add-ins, we can show it that way. Um, 4 plus 1 and 5 plus 0. If I look back, I can see that these numbers on this side, I'm going to just find something. Um, this side, you can see that these numbers are increasing. On this side, you can see that these numbers are decreasing. They're getting smaller. Um, let's show what it looks like for the 6s. Now, remember... We can even try it this way. So we can go 0, and then we can go all the way to 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We want to make sure that we don't forget any of those fact family partner pairs, okay? So 0 plus 6, 1 plus 5, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 2, 5 plus 1, and 6 plus 0. This makes sure that I don't forget any of those partner pairs. So Paying attention to that and using the pattern to solve. Um, so for example, if you were solving, and let's say all of these numbers equal up to be um, 11, and let's leave some numbers, I'm sorry, some add-ins um, blank. So let's say I started at 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to skip a couple on purpose, and maybe I won't go all the way. Um, let me put my plus signs here. I'm going to leave a couple of blanks. So here's a blank right here. Um, let's put another blank right here. And we'll fill in the rest. So 0 plus 11, 2 plus, I'm sorry, 1 plus 10, 2 plus 9, 3 plus something. Oh, well, if I look at this pattern, 11, 10, 9, I know that 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we can find out that pattern this way. Well, if I'm going 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, this on this side must be 4. Um, you will be able to fill in these patterns. Let's see, oh, 7 plus something. Oh, I just did 7 plus 4. Um, yeah, so you can fill in the pattern in order to solve that equation. Um, you might see some, and mostly like that's kind of what it is, but you might see some that are written like this, like 7 plus 0 equals 7. 7 plus 1 equals what? 8. 7 plus something equals 9. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Um, and you can look for the pattern in this. On this, you can see that these sums are increasing by 1, so 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, these, um, I guess the first add-in is staying the same. It's always 7. I can look at the second add-in, 0, 1, something, 3. Well, the missing number there is 2. Let's see if that makes sense. 7 plus 2 is 9. It does. So 7, 8, 9. There we go. Um, so you can look for patterns to solve equations. I also want you to think of... The doubles and the near doubles that you already know. So something that you should remember are a lot of these doubles facts. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 5 plus 5 is 10. Now I don't want to keep going forever and ever and ever, but think of those doubles facts that you know. Now if you were in the classroom, you would see our doubles chart on the wall as well. Um, but since this is at-home learning and an at-home review of some skills, you should have these things memorized. The chart is just there for you to see every once in a while until you have it stuck inside of your memory. Um, so let's say you had a couple of equations. And let's say these are some near doubles equations that, that I want you to practice with. 4 plus 3 is something. 2 plus, I'm going to, let's say, 
2 plus 3. I don't know. That's so, so, so easy. But anyways, um, 5 plus 6. Now you know 5 plus 5 is 10, and 6 is just one more than that. So in your head, you should be able to 5 plus 6 is 11 because that's something that you already know. 6 is just one more. So in your head, you're thinking, I know 5 plus 5 is 10. Let me just add one more to that, and it will be 11. 4 plus 3. Well, I can think about 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And since 3 is one less than that, I just have to subtract one of those from the 8. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Um, 2 plus 2, y'all hear it all the time. 2 plus 2 is still 4, always. Um, so what is 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 is 5. Remember, all of these for topic one are just with sums less than 20, so we're not going to get too, too, too far into greater numbers, um, but I want you to notice the pattern of that. Um, you know that 5 plus 5 is 10, and you know 6 plus 6 is 12, and 11 falls right in the middle of that. So look at your numbers and make sure that your sums are making sense to the things that you already know. Um, I'm looking to see kind of what else. Um, there are some equations that you might see that say, for example, um, maybe it says tell five ways to make, let's say, 12. If it said tell five ways to make 12, this is what I would do. Write this down, pay attention. Um, it's just looking for different partner pairs that you could say. So if I wanted to make 12, I would say, oh, I could do 0 plus 12. That equals 12. 1 plus 11. That equals 12. 2 and 10. That equals 12. Notice how I already have three ways, and I haven't even gone very far. There are a lot of different um, fact families that you could use to make 12. So only listing a couple of them is not a really hard task. Um, 3 plus 9. That is 12. 4 plus, look at the pattern, 12, 11, 10, 9. 4 plus 8 equals 12. There are my five ways right there. You could come up with way more than five ways. So some of these where it says tell a certain number of ways, make sure that they're different ways. Don't write, if it said tell five ways to make 12, don't say 1 plus 11, 1 plus 11, 1 plus 11. Come on, y'all. You could think of way more ways than that. Um, I just want you to be familiar with using different patterns um, to help you using, yikes, um, using different patterns is going to help you as, as the math gets a little bit harder and the year goes on. Um, that's all I got.